Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a haul and I'm going to show you some of the things I've bought in the last couple of months. The first one being this gorgeous Santini coat. It's by Santini Couture. It's made of 100% wool with this faux fur lining and the inside has a label and this nice gold chain to hang it up. This also has pearl with gold buttons which makes it look so elegant. This is quite a old Hollywood and glamorous style coat. I could definitely imagine Audrey Hepburn or Grace Kelly wearing this. It's quite a film star style coat and that's the style that I love the most. Because it's genuine wool, this is probably my warmest coat, so it's perfect for those really frosty mornings. Even in the snow, you look very elegant. This is my first item from them, hopefully I'll be buying a few more. This coat is the Affair to Remember in the shade Bianco. They also have a neutral colour if that's more your style. A recent purchase of mine are these earrings they are made of faux pals and i bought these from tk maxx these remind me of a pair that hayley bieber wore a few years ago so i'm glad i found a similar pair to that and they were very affordable also in tk maxx i bought a set of brushes by skinny dip they are the barbie collection and you get four and they're really good quality and they feel very soft I used these two today for my bronzer and foundation I definitely recommend this brand of brushes my next item I've bought is these June boots they're very Chanel-esque They're like beige nude colour with a black toe, which is the classic Chanel style, but much more affordable and these feel like great quality and they are actually very comfortable, which I wasn't expecting to be. So I think with the low heel you can walk around London, not have painful feet and they make a great addition to the Santini coat, so you can look very classy but on a budget. In my collection I was missing a jumper dress so I was on the set for the perfect one and I found this one which I'm wearing now in this blush pink shade and I love that it's got a cable knit pattern it just adds something a little bit more luxurious to a high street store and this one is from Quiz and surprisingly the quality is much better than I expected. I think with a white belt it will add a bit more definition and shape but today I've just got it on as it is and it's got puff sleeves with this cup and then from Ted Baker I bought an underwear set And it has pink mesh with a satin baby blue cup detail with this mesh with little dots on on the ribs and I quite like the pattern as it, it reminds me of the Japanese blossom print this look can look very classy with the feminine touch without being too girly and then I also bought the matching set and I like the frill. For the new year, I like to treat myself with new makeup. So this year I invested in some Chanel makeup. I bought a few pieces, so I'll show you them now. 
I went mostly for this collection. There's beige, which looks like this. And I like the cream and black logo. And this is a healthy glow foundation, hydration and long wear. So I, as I've got quite dry skin, I prefer the dewy look to, rather than the matte. And I think this is perfect. And this is more of a light to medium base, which I quite prefer so it doesn't look too cakey. And then I bought the matching powder, which comes in this little case. It's made of velvet. And then this is what the powder looks like, again with the cream logo. And inside you get this little brush. And it's actually very good powder. It makes you look flawless. I, it has a blurring technique to it, which makes your pores look smaller. And these compact powders just remind me of the 60s and just glamorous film stars that like to top up their makeup in the powder rooms. The final face product I bought was from the same collection again, the Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream, Soleil Tan Bronze. I've had this before and it's actually one of the best bronzers, especially for designer makeup. I think Chanel definitely is worth the money and I've used it a couple times already. It's just so creamy, it goes on the skin perfectly without getting too patchy. The technique is to find the best brush to go with it, otherwise you can end up with a muddy look. Finally from Chanel I put two lipsticks. This one is the Rouge Allure Velvet Collection. This is more of a luminous matte lipstick. It comes in this black bullet with a gold CC logo. You just push it in. which has Chanel embossed in it. This is more of a coral lipstick, which I wanted for the summer, as that's the shade that suit me best, a more orangey red rather than the blue toned reds. And that was in the shade 64 First Light. And if I just do a swatch, and that's what that one looks like. I think it's the perfect summer shade. And then I bought another lip gloss to add to my collection. This is in the shade 712 Melted Honey. And this is in a gold, which is very sparkly. And I bought this mainly for the Christmas and New Year season, just because I love wearing gold sparkly outfit. And I think this is the perfect lip gloss to look elegant all year round. I was able to get Bath and Body Works in the UK on the next website. So I bought a few candles as I've always wanted these after watching Gabby Di Martino. This one is Champagne Toast. And this one smells really nice. It's, it smells a little bit like fruit juice. And I think this is the perfect scent for all year. And then finally I bought this one. Twisted Peppermint and this definitely smells like peppermint with a mix of vanilla so it's quite sweet and as I've always wanted to try the full collection I picked up this pumpkin cupcake and it's very moisture and the final item I bought was a coach bag I love the white tabby that I bought it back in October and then I saw this one in the sale for half the price, so... And I already had it on my wish list, so I thought I might as well buy it. And this is another t um, tabby in the, in the candy pink. This one's a little bit more slouchy, and it has the gold C logo, which I like that you can change this up, so I might buy the horse and carriage logo to swap, swap out for this one. It has gold hardware, and you can wear it on the shoulder or with the crossbody strap, which is great. And what I like about this one is you have no compartments. So 
you can fit a lot more in than the original tab and that is an in inside compartment if you need to put like your phone or card case in safely and also it has a little compartment on the back so i would be getting a lot of wear out of this and i'm going to the pretty affluent fashion show so i think i'll be taking this bag let me know which items you liked the best out of this haul and please subscribe